All right, so good morning, everyone. Uh, so Bungie, Destiny, they just tweeted out a new trailer, and I'm told it's about the exotics. So I I figured, you know, I'm going to watch this, but I'm going to do it with sort of live reactions. So I'm just going to give some initial responses. We'll look through these new exotics one at a time and break them down. Not really break them down, just get some initial thoughts as we uh, react to these in real time. So without any further ado, the new trailer. Here we go, here we go. Lots of stasis -y action. Is that a new sword? Okay, the swing animation on that's pretty cool. Alright, no time to explain. We knew this was coming. Wait, hold on. Time out. That text wasn't up on the screen for very long. Let's see what that said. It said personal protection portal. PPP? Little personal protection portal. What does that mean? So he gets the kill. There's a portal thing. Is it launching projectiles back at them? Time, Guardian. Crush them. Interesting. Okay, hold on. New sniper rifle. All right, so this is the one that we saw in the previous trailer. It's called Cloud Strike. Lightning on precision hits. Okay, so is that kind of like a... That sounds kind of like a chromatic fire, right? Get a precision kill. Boom, big elemental explosion. Let's see what it looks like again. The firing anim the firing uh, audio sounds really clean. Okay, so that's a that's a big lightning boom. Interesting, big lightning boom. If that's, I mean, obviously, I would assume that that's an energy weapon, so it would probably be um, an arc exotic sniper rifle. Would be my guess. If it was kinetic, that'd be kind of crazy because then you could stack chromatic fire with it. The really really the question here is how much damage is that explosion going to do? Does it chain? Like, how does that work? Uh, a lot of times when you get arc-related abilities, it's it's chaining damage. Anything like D Dune Marchers and Arc Web, and it's a chaining this electricity between targets. Is it going to be kind of like that, or is it just going to be a set uh, number for the amount of damage that it does in a big AoE? Or is it going to be chaining to targets in the vicinity of your precision kill? I don't know. So it's, it's kind of hard to tell with that animation there, with that the little bit of what we saw here. Boom. Is there chaining? It just looks like, well, there's like a couple of bolts there. You see those bolts coming down? These these bolts right here? I don't know. That's the question. Is the chaining damage or is it just one big number? My guess is that it would just be one set number. In which case, the question then is how much is that number? How you how much utility is this going to have? It, it could be good for clearing, you know, little groups of ads maybe. In PvP, obviously they're showing it off in PvP. Were those, were those targets weak ahead of time? I mean... Obviously, this is very, very staged. You got two guys running at each other to be in the vicinity. I suppose, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. All right. So, the Lament. This is a sword. Yo, oh, is that like a chainsaw sword? What the heck? Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's <laughs> it shred barrier shields. Oh, this is going to be the new Nightfall sword, 100%. Okay, those animations were pretty clean. So right now, it's falling guillotine is, is for everything, right? Everyone's using the guillotine. So if this this thing, the, yeah, here's the thing. It's got to be a lot better than the guillotine at doing exactly this. Obviously, shredding barriers is going to be huge for anything that involves champions. Um, bam. Yeah. That's pretty clean animation. It takes the leg and then does the torso strike. That's pretty clean. I like that a lot. But yeah, so the only thing is, um, this sword is an exotic. So it's got to be good enough at doing that, that it's going to cause players to remove a fallen guillotine. So, I don't know, is it going to be as good at boss DPS? I don't know. Because that's the thing, most of the time when it comes to activities like this, people are using their heavy weapon as their primary means of taking down, um, you know, the bosses. So whenever you're doing like... For example, Lake of Shadows uh, farm last week, everyone was using guillotines because what, what are you doing? You're going up to the boss, you're hitting him with a press of darkness, and you're spinning to win, right? And you're trying to take him down immediately and then, you know, survive the, the remaining ads. So it's got to be, I, I suppose that's the question, it's got to be good enough that it's going to cause someone to take off a guillotine. I don't know. But you, you, you may want to have one person running this thing um, in your squad, and then maybe the other two using guillotine for boss damage. I don't know, but uh, yeah, this is this is actually pretty cool. 
maybe a way to bypass the whole uh, system of, okay, well, I got to have a, an anti-barrier weapon equipped, but I don't really have a good weapon that I want to use anti-barrier on. You know what I mean? It may free you up for more options. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The other thing is risk and reward because obviously these champions are pretty they're pretty uh, they hit pretty hard in the activities that you want to be taking down these shields with right so is it going to be are you going to have the survivability to close the gap on something with a barrier shield i don't know we'll see that looks really cool though freaking chainsaw that's a really clean animation all right icefall mantle replaces barricade with an overshield replaces it so so do you have to have the barricade oh, i suppose i'll watch the animation first Okay, so you activate it. Okay, okay, that was my question. Like, do you like convert the 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 shield into an overshield? Like the barricade into an overshield? No, it looks like if you hold B, this is almost like a rift animation. By the way, that chest piece is pretty cool looking. And what the heck is on his back? Uh, anyways, bam, that's pretty cool looking. That's a flex and a half. Look at this. Look at bam, <laughs> boosh. That's a flex and a half. I get kind of Gibraltar vibes off of him doing that animation okay so anyways that's kind of cool yo this could be this could be so obnoxious for pvp i wonder how long that overshield lasts because i i have a titan build that is max resilience i i have a a tier 10 resilience titan build that i use from time to time if i were to use that with these things with these gauntlets boosh i could have how often could i have an overshield like pretty frequently that could be a uh, uh, that's a real tanky exotic for PvP. I mean, they they show it off in PVE here, using a scout rifle at point blank range. Wait, no, that's not a scout. Never mind. What is that? Is that an MG or an auto? No, that's a machine gun. Got it. Okay, uh, that could be an exotic to look out for. That could be a game changer in PvP. That could be like new meta PvP. It depends on a how much damage uh, the overshield can tank before it's popped. And B, how long it's active. Okay, Mask of Bachris. I'm going to say it like that because it sounds more epic. Bachris. Anyways, Shift replaces Dodge. Okay. So um, we have a theme here. Converting your class ability into something else. So the last one, converting your uh, barricade into an overshield. This one, Mask of the Bacchus, Shift replaces Dodge. So you're converting your Dodge into an ability called Shift. Before we see what that looks like, first and foremost, that mask looks horrifying. I like it. <laughs> it looks horrifying, and I love it. That's pretty dope. All right, here we go. Throws the hammer. Whoa! Wait, that bro disappeared. Hang on, hold on, hold on. How far did he teleport? And can you control where you teleport to? It's a teleport, so it's not blink. Okay, so first and foremost, he disappeared right at the corner. Where does he reappear? So he disappears, bam, right at the corner. Right in front of that patch of grass. Where does he reappear? Uh, Looks like the... It's the second corner up past the dumpster. It was only what? So that'd be like, what? 15 feet, maybe? 10, 15 feet? So he's at the first corner when he disappears. And then he's going to be um, right over here on, on my screen, right? Right? Sorry. I'm trying to figure out where it should be pointing for you guys. He's going to be like right over here behind the dumpster. Just past the dumpster when he reappears. Bam. 10, 15 feet forward. So they don't get blink. Can you do that? Okay, so time out. Here's the next question. This is an important question. So it's replacing your dodge roll. Now you cannot use shade step when you are airborne, right? Can you use shift while airborne? Can you jump shift and blink forward? Or is this basically a on the ground blink? Is it just just while, uh, while planted on the ground? Or is it both? My guess would be this is just an on-the-ground thing. Let's watch it again. I'm guessing this is just an on-the-ground thing. Disappears. Floof. And then boosh. So that's kind of cool. I mean, hunters have been asking, I need blink, I need blink, I need blink for you know a long time now. So uh, that could be pretty sick. I think that could be fun to play with. That could also be really annoying. <laughs> 
but it's it's replaced it says it replaces your dodge roll you could do that really frequently though and would that also queue up your other things if i use shift next to if i use shift next to an enemy is it going to also recharge my melee ability if i use uh shift and i'm using um you know the dodge reload is it going to reload my weapon when i shift like if I had no ammo in my shotgun and I and I shift blink up towards somebody when I come out of it is my shotgun going to be fully loaded and ready to boosh? Because if it is, you could chain you could chain some kills here. It'd be really scary. Like shift forward, bam, blow them away, and you get the green off the ground. Run forward a few steps, shift, reload, reloads your gun, boosh. You know what I'm saying? This could be nasty. All right, here we go. Um, Athris's embrace. Athras's embrace superior weighted knife. That's very vague. What is superior about it? Bam, bam, boosh. Okay, so from what we just saw, I that's not very revealing about much of anything, is it? Ricochets twice. One, two bounces into the head. So is this gonna be basically like? I'm assuming is this gonna kind of be like pre-nerf? weighted knife because the pre the pre-nerf weighted knife was pretty strong the hitboxes were big it had a tendency to find the head pretty frequently uh they were pretty scary so they actually nerfed these things i don't know if you guys remember this i actually made a video saying i was concerned about the knives before they ever came out and then they ended up nerfing them shortly after but that's neither here nor there uh my guess is that th this just means that they might be more consistent easier to use i don't know Maybe easier to use. Boom, boom. That doesn't really tell us anything, but you get two ricochets and it hits the guy in the head. That's nice. Okay, so I'd, I'd be interested to hear more about what that seems uh, underwhelming to me. Uh, but moving on, Dawn Chorus. So far, that's the that's the least exciting one I've seen. Dawn Chorus, improved, improved burns and daybreak damage. Improved burns and daybreak damage. Um, so improved burns would be like maybe your solar grenade, uh, stacks of burn on people as a little damage over time. Um, but this sounds like it would be bottom tree Dawn Blade, yeah? You'd probably want to use this on bottom tree Dawn because bottom tree has, uh, you know, the, the explosive melee, you can stack a burn with your, your grenades more consistently. So this might be more... Because uh, quite frankly, no one's using bottom tree dawn blade right now. Everyone's using top tree. It's 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 so much superior. While the the super is harder to hit, you can at least still move around. You can Icarus dash around, do 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 right. Uh, on top of that, you've got Icarus dash. Bottom tree doesn't. Um, you've got heat rises. Bottom tree doesn't. You've got celestial fire. Bottom tree doesn't. Uh, top tree dawn blade right now is a tomb in the sky. Is just it's unparalleled in terms of its effectiveness bottom tree got left in the dust it used to be the other way around everyone was, use, was using bottom tree because the super after the go fast update remember that update long time ago and then you could fly through the air with that super close gaps without having to use any icker stash or anything well they took that away so they really neutered that subclass so this just off the rip sounds like something that would maybe buff that subclass i'm kind of feeling like it could be maybe a nod towards sunsinger in destiny one remember viking funeral those burns remember those burns Whew! you might see the return with this exotic you might see the return of uh of solar or i'm um, sorry not solar grenade um what's it called firebolt and thorn combo can you imagine using this thing with a firebolt and a thorn combo for double burns let's see it in action And that didn't really tell us anything. Uh, okay, so maybe that's a return of like the Sunsinger vibes, right? All right, here we go. Necrotic Grip. That's a cool name. Necrotic Grip. Interesting looking gauntlet. Melee spreads poison. So we got a lot of damage over time stuff here. A lot of dots. Necrotic Grip, melee spreads poison. Let's see it. Hang on. So let's look at that animation real quick. Melee spreads poison. So we see him punch this guy, right? Bam. And then it it's like it pulses. See, look at look at it come off the ground there. Is it my question is this, does the melee have to kill somebody in order to spread that poison? 
Because this melee clearly does. He smacks him, and he goes down. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look, look, at the, look at the left side of the screen, though. So before this guy's ever on the ground, remember, we just saw it pulse on the ground. But first, before it does that, you can see that this guy on the far left side of the screen has already got some poison on him. See that green shimmering effect on one of those dregs over there? You see that? So that's the first punch. The guy dies. It spreads a little bit of poison. And then there's a second pulse on the ground. See that on the ground right there? And then that pulses again, whoosh, and that looks like it even goes further. See, look, it goes through, and it continues to pulsate. There's another pulse right, pulse right there. Does every time something die, does it, does it pulse again? Because that's like three whole pulses, right? Punch, there's the first pulse, bam, there's a pulse off of the melee. We're at the location of the melee. That's at, like, chest level, right? The guy dies, and then bam. Right there where his gun falls, right at the, the spot of his death. Bam, it pulses off the ground. Whoosh. Spreads to everybody else. This guy dies right there, and then there's a third pulse. See that? Boom. So that's interesting. So that could be kind of fun to play with. And then here's also the question. Does uh, melee spreads poison? Could that melee be a celestial fire attack? Could I throw a celestial fire? Whoosh. Hit the guy. Bam. Whoosh. Spread that poison. So that, those are my two main questions with that one would be, does it have to be a melee kill or just a melee? It doesn't sound like it has to be a melee kill. Um, and then on death, is there a second pulse? Because it looks like with that trailer there, it looks like there is. Because there was only one punch in this, in this little trailer here. He punched one time. A guy died, and then there were three subsequent pulses. So what cues up the pulse? It's not only a melee then, if we have three pulses to one melee. All right. Precious Scars. Revive creates shielding aura. Precious Stars. Revive creates shielding aura. So when you pick up your... Okay, so, yeah. So he revives his teammate right here. Okay. Well, who's wearing the exotic? Oh, is it, is it a Titan? Or is it... Is this a Titan thing? White pointy hat, right? Yeah, so it's the Titan. It's the one getting the revive, isn't it? Yeah, see, he's got it on his head right now. That was my question. Is it is it when you get revived or when you do a revive? It looks like it's the Titan doing the revive. He's picking up his teammate. And now they have this shielding aura how much damage does that let you tank how long does it last do you have to stay in a group to keep to keep tethered that's interesting oh that could be good for high-end pve activities you know you got the risk of i can't go out there and pick you up in front of a in front of a hobgoblin sniper that can one hit kill me well maybe now you can you know what i'm saying interesting interesting moving on it's not crazy exciting but it's interesting salvation's grip launch stasis projectiles what is this a grenade launcher dude look at that thing the big old babushka oh my gosh that thing's enormous that looks like zarya's gun even down to the little like cylindrical coil on the side of it on the, the bottom left corner of the screen even those cylindrical coils that looks exactly like zarya's gun did he just break through his own stasis I want to see this again. Dang. That looks chonky. That is one chonky boy. Look at this thing. Look at it. Big old behemoth. The chungus is among us. That's pretty cool. I like that. Upgrade your arsenal. No time to explain there. Wait, hold on. What's this? Uh, catalyst portal fires faster. Oh, the catalyst for no time to explain. Okay, so the portal is almost like an arc soul, like an arc buddy. Um, the portal is portal fires faster for your catalyst, so more DPS with it. I always liked that gun in Destiny One. I used the I used to use a stranger's rifle for quite a while, and then obviously the, the no time. 
Pretty cool. Exotic ornament, frozen in time. For the... Oh, for the no, for the no time? And then uh, finally, exotic sparrow, any other sky. That looks pretty dope. Is there? Does it move? Like, do we get a different angle of it? So this is it right here. It almost looks like a mythoclast. Def or a plan C in sparrow form, right? <laughs> that looks pretty clean. And that's it. That's all she wrote, huh? Well, I'm excited. You guys excited? For me, the standout. Uh, I obviously I'm a, I'm a I'm a warlock main. So the standout thing to me right now is is I would say there's two things. One is the necrotic grips. Is that what they were called? The gauntlets that spread poison. That has piqued my interest. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, the other thing would be the uh, what was it called? Ice shift, ice something. The sniper rifle, the exotic sniper. That looks pretty cool. Headshot, precision kills. Um, do lightning strikes? Wait, wait, wait. Was it precision kills or was it precision hits? Because that. Where's my cursor at? There it is. Because that does matter. Blah 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 blah. Yes, that thing. Okay, it, it was cloud strike. I was I was not even close. <laughs> cloud strike. Uh, lightning on precision hits. Okay, so that's cool. So that's more PVE related because sometimes a precision hit isn't going to get a kill. But that could be helpful. Uh, precision hits will do the strike. That one stands out to me. Uh, and then for Hunter and Titan, the two that stand out to me are uh, for the Titan, creating an overshield for yourself instead of a barricade because those barricades come back mega fast. They come back mega fast, especially if perpetuation is going to work with it. Um, that could be really scary to have a perpetuation tier 10, um, resilience build for a, a hunter or a, a, a Titan. That could be real scary in PVP, like real scary. Be a, a real tank on the battlefield. And then for the hunter, the thing that has me most interested is, uh, the exotic that allows you to teleport the shift that, uh, sp the spooky looking helmet. Oh, I should also, you know what? There's a lot of things that stand out to me right now. The shift helmet definitely is one of them. And lastly, I would say the um, the the dawn blade helmet that does burning. That could that has me kind of excited for a potential uh, revisiting of the Sun Singer Viking funeral days. A little hom homage to that. So we shall see. Well, that's it. I won't make this video any longer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited about this content as I am. I'm going to be hitting the uploads hard when Beyond Light drops. So I'm going to be trying to cover as much as I can whenever I get new information, new exotics, all that stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, hey, tonight, Real Gamer Hour podcast. Me, M. Tash, and Rick Kakis. We do a show. This is episode six. We record this show live on YouTube. If you just type in Real Gamer Hour, you will see uh, as the top result our live show. We record Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time. We would love to see you there. Super chats enabled, memberships are enabled, all that business. We got emotes and all that jazz. Hope to see you then. Thanks so much for hanging out. Love you guys so much. I'll see you.